So in this uh, example, we're trying to prove the statement GT is being congruent to RH. So this line segment being congruent to this line segment based on the given information that GA is equal to RA and AH is equal to AT. So it looks like we need to write a few lines of proof to get to the desired outcome. So the first thing is to write the given statements. GA is equal to RA, AH is equal to AT. All right, so this is given. Now, so notice that we're given parts of the uh, longest segments that we're interested in, right? Because GT is the longest segment and so is the RH. And we're all only given parts so far, GA, RA, AH, AT. So we have to use the segment addition postulate. So how does it work? Notice that we can add GA and AT to get the whole thing GT, right? So we can go ahead and do that. GA plus AT is equal to the whole thing GT. And so is uh, RA plus AH should be equal to RH, the whole thing. Right, and this is the segment addition postulate. So now the next thing is to realize that we can substitute, we can use one of these two equations to substitute one of the participating subsegments. Which one is it going to be? So notice that um, here RA can be actually substituted with GA because GA is being equal to RA as part of the given statement and we can rewrite this equation substituting RA with GA so that means we can make it look like GA plus AH is equal to RH right so we're just rewriting this equation and instead of RA we're just going to write GA in the first term because GA is equal to RA Right, so this is substitution property of equality. Okay, so now that we have that, we can actually perform another substitution on the derived equation. So notice that AH in turn, AH can be actually substituted with AT using the second given, uh, second part of the given statement, right? Because AH is equal to AT. So we can actually substitute this AH in with AT in this equation. So we can go ahead and write that. GA plus AT is equal to RH, right? And this is once again, the substitution property of equality. Okay, so you might be stumped, you might say, well, GA and AT, why is it equal to RH? Okay, but don't worry, because here, notice that you can use transitive property. And transitive property is the following. You see that this left side, GA plus AT, is equal to GT. And the same side, GA plus AT, is equal to RH. So the transitive property tells us that if the same thing is equal to two different things, these two different terms can be set equal to each other. Right? So GT, as a result, is equal to RH. Because both GT and RH are equal to GA plus AT. Right? So we can, as a result, we can just basically set these guys equal because they both equal to the sum of GA and AT. Right? So this is called the transitive property of equality. All right? And of course, the last step is to basically uh, deduce that since GT is equal to RH, then GT 
line segment is congruent to our H line segment. And this is the definition of congruence. All right, so I hope this was helpful and fun. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.